my dear Taurus, hi, how are you? Welcome to your reading. My name is Sabbath. Welcome to Sabbath Hero. Hoping that you're well. Happy to stay wherever you are. Taurus, we're going to do a reading for mid July all the way to the end of the month. Personal readings are being offered for the time being. If you're interested, definitely you can go ahead and write to me to my email. It's in the description box below. And check out your flower reading. The link is also down below. It was a heavenly reading. I remember. I loved it. <laughs> Very therapeutic. Okay, for Taurus Spirit. What are me the messages for the current moment for mid-July? What messages have we got? What does Taurus need to know right now in regards to the current moment? What does Taurus need to know, Spirit? What is happening for Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Oh boy. Oh my god, who are all these people? Hold on, hold on a minute here. How, how many people are dating or singing or how many people are keeping tabs on you? I wonder. So the bottom to deck for you here, we have the three of cups, the four of swords, the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Okay, I really feel like you're taking things, you're trying to take things easy right now in regards to love, tourists. There's an energy of I'm trying to just keep sane. <laughs> I'm trying to just go with the flow, be lighthearted. I feel like some of you could be getting back to dating, okay, if you've been taking a break, or this is also speaking of you just getting out there more, you know, it could be that you're, let's say, um, going to parties, could be celebrating something soon, you could be seeing your family, I just really see you being open, okay, to socializing, and the energy of socializing is very good for you. Now, some of you, I do feel like there could be a person here that has not been doing a thing towards you and deliberately not doing a thing towards you. I feel I feel like for a lot of you, this is in regards to a connection that you've just, ex like I just heard in my head, you came into an agreement with yourself in regards to this connection. Like either you like accepted it for what it was and you were like, okay, you know what? Um, I am determined in regards to walking away or I've made my decision, I came into an agreement and I'm moving forward, okay? Now, for a lot of you, this is also speaking of you no longer being bitter about something, you know, you no longer kind of uh, resenting, you know, having resentments towards a person. I definitely feel like there's an energy about I'm, I'm going to be the mature person in this situation and I'm going to accept um, this situation for what it is and I'm going to forgive, you know? Now, I don't know if there's a person you reject a Taurus at a certain point or just also speaking of you kind of like... Hmm. Some of you, I, mm, let me just see here. There's definitely three people in your energy. So it could be that you're connecting with three different people. Or this is also speaking of there might have been more than just one person within this whole situation. Okay. With the person that you've been connecting with. But for a lot of you, there's an energy of I'm going to work with the person that's going to work with me. I'm going to be accepting a connection that is healthy a person that's giving to me, a person that's consistent with me, who's stable, right? A person who's willing to put in the effort. So I don't know if for some of you, there's been a person here that you wanted for them to kind of offer you emotions at a certain point, but they did not. Okay, this could be definitely somebody who might have been also emotionally distant with you too. But I just see a lack of effort that I'm like, oh, what is this? Like, I don't like this at all. All right, so I don't know if you didn't put a, I don't know if you didn't put up with this person because of this. But as you should, I mean, really, as you should. I just really feel like you're standing in your power and you're like wearing the crown, you're in your element. And this is also speaking of you no longer feeling guilty about something. Maybe some of you, you walked away and at a certain point you kept questioning yourself as to why you walked away. And there's an energy, well, you know what? I was right. I didn't do anything wrong. I, I don't see why I should be blaming myself. I don't see why I should be feeling guilty for wanting what is what i'm desiring for wanting what is mine for wanting what i have the right to want if that makes sense so we're gonna see what's going on for sure 
but I see you having options for July. I see different energies coming towards you, but I feel like for some of you, there's an energy you could be rejecting people because you feel like it's not really something that you're looking for. Like for some of you, either there's an energy of like, I don't know, I just got that so randomly. You could be connecting with people that are far and there's an energy, oh my God, this person is exactly my type, but they're far. And I'm like, why would you want to connect with somebody who's so far from you in the first place, right? You want a person you can touch, you can feel. I mean, if you were to ask me, I don't really believe in long distance relationships. I believe in putting in the effort, seeing each other in person, making the time. So for a lot of you, I, I don't know why I just talked about that, but maybe there's an affirmation for some of you out there. But I keep feeling like you want emotions. You want availability from a person. You want somebody who's going to like be determined about wanting you. You know, you want a person who's sure about you. So for you to see who's coming towards Taurus spirit and what do they want? What's their intention towards Taurus spirit? You could be also saving up money to travel or some of you, there's an energy of there could be travel delays because you're trying to save up money or move. Okay. We're going to see some of you. I'm also, I'm going to just tell you, why are you so lazy? Excuse me? Like, I don't mean in a bad way, but some of you, you really need to get started in regards to a particular talent that you have or a gift that you have. And this message has been coming up a lot. But for a lot of you, it's like you just sit on your talents. You don't do anything. Am I yelling? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like... You could be really creative of us about something, right? You could have a lot of creativity. Some of you, this could be music. This could be arts. This could be crafts. Anything. Some of you, I'm even hearing like sailing or I don't know. That's so random or any. This could be literally anything. But this is something that you're very good at. But you're not doing anything for this. You know, you're not. You're not taking action. So the spirit's like, why are you procrastinating? Why are you not putting in the effort when you know you could be really good at this, you know? So there's your message. So who's coming towards Taurus spirit and... <laughs> spirit be so, like, direct sometimes, right? Who's this person coming towards Taurus and what's their intention? How do they feel? Who's this person coming towards Taurus spirit for the time being? And what is their intention? What is this person's intentions towards Taurus spirit? Let's just shuffle. This is person coming towards Taurus spirit and some of you this person could be having emotions but they're not doing a thing towards you. Okay. Some of you this person might have been just watching you for a while as well. But we're gonna see here. I'm having into a person who might have been feeling powerless a little bit, so I don't know what happened here, or like defeated type of energy. Who's this person that's coming towards Taurus Spirit and what is their intentions and feelings? Who's this person? The same cards. Oh my God, look at that. Ace of Cups. That's a beautiful energy to get. Wow. Okay, so this is definitely somebody you know. For a lot of you, I feel like there's both somebody that you know and possibly new love for you. So that's probably why I said you're connecting with multiple people, not just one. Um, some of you could be that you're also deciding that you want to stay single as well. This is also speaking of, well, I'm going to decide that I'm single because I haven't found that special person yet or um, that connection that is to my ideal connection in my mind, you know? So for a lot of you, I feel like, again, the spirit's like, be patient. We're not desperate for a connection. We're not desperate for a person. We're not desperate for love because we have it internally. So if you want to stay single, stay single, right? Weigh your options is what I'm hearing as well for you. I'm hearing so many things. You could be connecting with a water sign. Some of you Pisces keeps coming through. Cancer, Earth we have as well. Okay. Even a little bit of fire. Some of you strongly Aries as well you could be connecting with. But I'm seeing, seeing you reconnecting with a person. And this could be for a lot of you somebody that either you've been distant from. Like either there's been... Why am I, why am I getting this? Like I don't know if at a certain point you two stopped seeing each other. Or it's like if you two have been like seeing each other back to back it stopped. Or somebody maybe they moved away. All right, for a small portion of you. But this is someone that, like, this is somebody who prop 
possibly got exposed at a certain point. Like either you found something out about this person. Some of you could have also found out that they... Oh my god, I heard something so specific, but I don't know if I should say it. Some of you, maybe you, you figured out that this person was dealing with other people, or that they were keeping their options open. They were kind of like looking out. I don't know why I'm hearing looking out. You know how you're like in a connection or you're still dating somebody, but you're also kind of like holding out. You're kind of like looking around as well. So it's the same energy. Maybe you felt like somebody's not really prioritizing you or is not fully focused on you, solely focused on you. Um, but yeah, we're going to tap onto this for sure. Some of you, June could have been really significant as well as September, upcoming September. Maybe in June something happens. Some of you, April as well as uh, March also could be significant months. Maybe somebody's birthday. But some of you also feel like if you don't have a car right now, I'm seeing a car coming in. Or you might need to do some repairs to your car, okay, down the line. I am getting that. Be careful that you're not drinking too much, too. I don't know what this is trying to say. Or just also speaking of a person who might have been drinking over you, by the way, okay? But we're going to see. It's like there's an energy of don't overindulge in things, okay? So let's see. Spirit, could you tell us some more in regards to this energy before I do the outcome? Oh, my God. What? That's crazy. Ace of Cups against me. Strong cancer energy could be connecting with. Um... So there's going to be a new beginning. And for a lot of you, this could be a new beginning in regards to a person that you know. Okay. Um, this is definitely, this is definitely speaking of a person who might have been quiet. Capricorn energy, some of you as well. Quiet towards you. And I feel like, I don't know if, I don't know if you left them or they left you or the connection just like was at a halt at a certain point. Some of you might have even moved in together at a certain point or you lived together or if not that, this is just speaking of you feeling like you're already in a relationship or you feeling like you're already like boyfriend and girlfriend or husband and wife. You know that energy when you're like with somebody and it just feels like you're in a commitment even if you're not. So it's the same energy. It's like somebody either misses that or they're like reminiscing about you. So I'm seeing a new beginning with this person, okay? Now, I'm going to definitely clarify the Ace of Cups. So if some of you have been wondering, does this person have feelings for me? Yes, they do. All right. What is that Ace of Cups doing there, Spirit? You've been hung upon a person here. Am I right or am I right? Some of you might have been hung upon somebody. What is this drinking energy? Is somebody, does somebody drink a lot? Maybe somebody have been, has been drinking over you. You've been really affecting this person. Kind of reminded me of Cancer's reading, actually. A lot of resemblance, actually, to Cancer's reading. But there's a person here who might have been drinking over you. This is also speaking of a person who might have been repeatedly trying to connect with other people, but they couldn't replace you. Same as Cancer's reading. Same. Send me the letters J, G, B, as well as S and T. Y could be significant, okay, but I'll definitely clarify this. P as well as R and M are significant and H and E. Somebody could have these within their name. K as well. I don't know if I said K and N. Okay. We're going to definitely clarify. So I am seeing a person coming towards you, and I feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody that you might have been disconnected from. Um, so what's going to be the outcome, Spirit? What's the outcome? Some of you could be also seeing a family member or this also is speaking of reconciling with somebody that you haven't seen in a very long time, okay? Maybe this is somebody that you've been worried that you're never going to see again. Or this is also speaking of somebody recovering from some form of a, an issue, like a health issue of some sort, but... Some of you also need, need to say, if you're worried about like your parents, like the health of your parents, they're going to be okay. They're going to recover. They're going to start to feel better. This also could be for your children as well, if you have any. But I'm just seeing like any kind of the worries you have around home and like people that you care for, they're going to be okay. All right. I'm here to affirm that for you. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. You might need to save more money than actually spending. Some of you, I don't know if you've been spending too much money or this is also speaking of you feeling like all the money that you earn, you're spending. So make sure that you're saving some money up or you're 
opening up a savings account and you're, you're saving it, you're being disciplined, okay? So what's the outcome for Taurus Spirit? Somebody could be connected with an Aquarius. What is the outcome for Taurus? <laughs> Some of you are just done with love. You're like, oh my God. Oh my goodness, I'm done. Let me just see. What's the outcome for a dear Taurus? Yeah, some of you I keep feeling like, um... Is this you or is this somebody else? Let me just see. Who is this person right here? Yeah, I feel like this is somebody else. Taurus, I don't know whether you've been also feeling a little bit emotionally numb here, honey, or left out. Okay, this is also speaking of, there's an energy of like, either somebody were to reconnect with you or not reconnect with you. There's just a part of you that's like really disappointed, I feel, maybe at how things ended. Or I also feel like for a lot of you, you're just determined that you want to stay single or that you don't want to deal with somebody anymore. I don't know why I just got that for you. For a lot of you, there's also this energy of, I don't want to deal with people that take my happiness and peacefulness away from me type of energy you know so it's like if somebody were to like build with you again or reconnect with you there's an energy of it's on you you know like it's on them and they gotta work for it they gotta work to build things up with you again so i feel like you're very like i don't want to say you're hopeless but there's an energy of like i'm tired of this man <laughs> it's just like i'm tired of this you know, I don't see that excitement in you when it comes to reconnecting with a person. So, again, you definitely let me know what you think. But I, I just feel like there's an energy of like, why did you leave in the first place? Or why would you, why would you want to do that? Because if I'm available, if I'm, oh, some of you might have been really available to this person at a certain point too. If I'm valuable to you, why would you want to throw me away? If I'm so valuable, you know, so, so you might have felt used by a person at a certain point, or you could be also feeling like they haven't necessarily had the purest intentions towards you. And that's the reason why you're deciding to kind of take your time with them or um, stay single, perhaps. But again, you got to let me know. It's going to differ for a lot of you. Not all of you are single, I know. So is there any other messages before I do predictions, Spirit? Is there any other messages, any advice maybe or anything that will happen why do i feel oh my god taurus i don't know why i keep getting this energy like there i feel like i feel like you're connecting with a person who actually is going to want you more than you want them or they want to it's like there's going to come a point of time where this person is going to want to work things out with you more than you want to work things out with them. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I don't know why this is so specific. It's like, you're there, right? You're there. It's not like you're rejecting them. But at the same time, you're not as fully engaged. Like, I don't see you, like, super hyped up about this. And it's like, okay, well, if you want to work things out with me, you I'll work things out. <laughs> I don't see you, like, being all trusting and, you know, like, giddy about that. I don't see that. And for most of you, also, to be completely honest with you, Taurus, I feel like you're more focused on the energy of trust and stability as well as, um, some of you could be even just focused on money for the time being, okay, rather than love or anything else. But this is just speaking of you focusing on groundedness and what feels safe to you. If, you know, let's say being single feels safe to you, you're going to stay single. If being abstinent is safe to you, then you're going to do that. There's just an energy of I'm going to do what's safe to me and I'm going to do what is healthy to me, you know, type of energy. And I'm going to be very also um, assertive about my boundaries, okay? So we're going to see if there's any predictions. Let's see for our dear. Yeah. For our dear Taurus spirit. Any predictions do we have? You've got, you've got pretty much all the kings in your energy. So for a lot of you, I feel like there's going to be way too many options that you're going to have. And there's going to be people, be people also offering you good opportunities as well. Like 
people wanting to court you, show you a good time, people seeing the value in you, respecting you. Like, I feel like there's a lot of people out there, Taurus, that see you as valuable and see you as a potential, like you are a potential partner. All right, so let's see here. Okay. What messages do we have, Spirit, for our dear Taurus? Definitely, you could be getting the key to something soon, maybe a car, maybe a house. Some of you, this also is speaking of you moving out. Mm hmm. Yeah, I feel like, I definitely feel like there's a person that you're going to be encountering with. And this is definitely somebody that you might have been really indecisive about letting in or not. Um, and it's, yeah, some of you definitely, there's still some unfinished energy with a person okay and i feel like i don't really see you being super like crazy or engaged i just see this person really trying to come through and like speak with you or make something work with you and this for a lot of you this is somebody that you put on a timeout or you kind of like knew that you decided that you want to let them go this is very specific reading my goodness i i don't know how it's going to resonate but here it is. He wanted to tell you to really work hard because I feel like for a lot of you, you're opening up a doorway that's new, Taurus. And this has a lot to do with what you've asked for from the spirit, what you've been praying for, whether it be uh, a lot of success, whether it be health, whether it be um, abundance, okay, whether it be purchases that you want to make. I keep feeling like everything's achievable for you. You just got to know that you are being surrounded by a lot of luck. And I feel like for a lot of you, there's there's gonna period of your there's gonna be a period of your time starting where you're gonna feel like everything just flows so easily and you don't even have to do anything. Like it just feels effortless, whatever that you're trying to achieve or manifest, okay? But for a lot of you, there's a person here that's gonna come through. And the way you're gonna know how much they're sure about you is by um how much they are patient with you and tolerant with you i don't know i just heard tolerant like maybe like it doesn't matter what you do i mean matters sure but like this person is very tolerant like they tolerate certain behaviors or they're very patient with you they don't just like fly off the handle if you get what i mean is that the phrase i'm not quite sure but i heard it so yeah and it could be because it is because genuinely they want something with you. Like they see the potential and they want to work with you. And this could be the same energy I just tapped onto for you as well. But um, again, like I always say, a person, the way you're going to know if a person really cares is by them being patient towards you, them being respectful towards your boundaries, no matter what those boundaries are. Okay, so let's see. Any angel messages do we have for our dear Taurus spirit? Any angel messages do we have for our dear Taurus? Any angel messages? Some of you letters L, C, V could be also significant. I think I already said R, Y, and K, 2, and E. Yeah. Somebody could have two L's, I's, and E's, as well as D's. And uh, the V's within their name, right? Let's see for our dear. We have two cards here. So I'm going to read these two for you. Win-win solution, number 14. There's strength and diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a mod moderate approach. So yeah, this is definitely speaking of um, two people coming together and trying to make something work and being on the same page in regards to like values and what you two are wanting. So maybe for a lot of you, there's been a person that you've been connecting with that you two never addressed something or they had a hard time addressing what you two were or the connection. It's like now you're going to have that conversation with them or they're going to address something that's been like unaddressed for a very long time okay messenger of emotion this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper 
You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. A social invitation could soon be, not, be on its way to you. There is a person involved who is very gentle and loving with only the kindness of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're shy, artistic, and sensitive. So for a lot of you, yeah, again, you're going to be invited somewhere. There could be a person reaching out to you that wants to see you or meet up with you soon. Some of you definitely fire energy and water is coming through strongly in earth. But again, they could have any sign within their chart. But I definitely feel like there's going to be a form of confession, invitation, and celebration and um, beginning in regards to love. Okay, opening, awakening in regards to love. And it feels good. It feels exciting. It feels like a new chapter. It doesn't feel like it is what it used to be for a lot of you okay if it's somebody that you connected with before so this is all i have for you my dear tourist i hope that this helps you personal readings are being offered if interested send me an email in the description box below i'm sending my kiss my warm race and my love and light do it that like button for me and i'll be seeing you next time bye dear